am fighting a little bit of a war in the garden right now and trying to figure out who is gonna win, me or the slugs. I don't know if you all are ready for this. This is a jar full of slugs. Welcome to Around the House. So today's video is a little bit educational, is a little bit disgusting. <laughs> this is my second year doing wood chip gardening and last year I had a little bit of slug damage. This year it's kind of out of control and um, I kind of figured that would happen. Slugs hide under things and so wood chips naturally is like a habitat for them. So they have more places to hide. The wood chip gardening definitely, I mean, has its pros and cons. One of the benefits that I have seen last year is I didn't have to water my garden much. It really kept the moisture in. There's a lot of worms in the soil right now. So there's a lot of good, um, like beneficial bugs as well in the garden. I will show you how I am fighting these nasty creatures and what I'm doing and take you along for the ride. So first up, let me show you what slug damage looks like. Here you can see like jagged edges, holes in the leaves, like here's a good example. There's just holes in the leaves and I've tried to spread diatomaceous earth that is not is not taking care of them. So that's what you see like that brown stuff is diatomaceous earth. Look at my zinnias. They sit on top of the little seedling there and they just eat the Hi. head off. <laughs> One of the best way to take care of slugs is to hand pick. And I bring out a flashlight at nighttime because they're most active at night. And I got an entire jar full. I don't know if you all are ready for this. This right here is a jar full of slugs. This jar was all from last night. This is just me coming down with a flashlight and hand picking it. Uh, that's a lot of slugs. And this is, I did this a couple nights ago and got the same amount. So here's one of my pepper plants. And again, you can see the slug damage on there. And slugs will always kind of leave behind a sticky residue too um, that kind of looks slimy. If you come down at night and you only get a couple, it's probably not that big of an issue. Still take them off, of course. But for me, I'm coming down and they're like, they're all over the place. So I know I have a problem that needs to be taken care of. Right, and I'm taking this to the chickens. You ladies want a treat? Want a treat? <laughs> oh, gross. That is so disgusting. So I am trying something that an organic gardener recommended to me. Um, it's supposed to come today and I'll show you guys that and kind of share with you if it works or not. Look what came today. So this is what I was waiting for to stick on the garden. It's called Sluggo Plus. Uh, we'll stick a link uh, in the description below if you want to check this out. It is on sale on Amazon right now. That's why I got it off of there. Um, but I had an organic farmer recommend this to me. So I obviously have a slug problem down there and we're gonna put this on the garden tonight. What you got there? Okay, so we got our Sluggo Plus we're gonna sprinkle on. This is just dish soap and water. In case we do find any slugs, we have to throw them in there. And this is beer for a beer trap. I'm gonna stick this in the area that's also the worst, so. Bugs are gone on my nose. I like this light. All right, so that concludes our evening in the garden. We will keep you updated um, if this works. I'm gonna check in a couple nights and this is better than it's been. So hand picking has made a dent, but I wanna see no slugs. So we'll give you an update. Thanks for watching guys. Get him babe, put him in the garden. I don't know if I can reach him. He's going to jump right on my head. <laughs> I need your net, Rachel. You Buddy, there you go. I want to pet him. I just want to see him. Can I pet him? 
Whoa. Oh. He's so cute. Whoa. <laughs> He's a maniac. Where'd he go? Hey, buddy. I need you to eat some uh, some bugs down I here, okay? Touch him. Give him to me. Give him to me. Oh, this bird. Goodbye. <laughs>